Hello everyone on YouTube. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. I wish you a very happy new year. This is my first trip of the year 2022. This was actually January 2nd. I'm going to get right into the episode. There's going to be some snow crashes, recoveries, and other mishaps. So enjoy the episode. Second. Okay, stop. Did you hit yourself? Yeah, just checking. Making sure the tires were okay. Up this on the left, not on the right. <laughs> yeah, it's on the left. No, no, we're good. We're good. Did you lose control? Yeah, it's really icy. Okay, maybe it's I am. I don't want to fall at the ravine. Jesus. Sorry. Wait a minute. So there is a saying, all wheel drive and four wheel drive doesn't mean all will stop. What? <laughs> Jeez. Well, gonna put the chains on. Yeah, I pretty much just couldn't, could not control, crashed over here. Same thing with this uh, GMC in front, and luckily I, I have myself some chains, so we're gonna put the chains on. Can you bring your uh, front seat forward, babe? Situation? That's for sure. Whoa. All right, let me go chain up so you can see. We're still in the bag, and here's my receipt from 11 29 2019. All right. <laughs> So just try to put those chains on, but uh, it's just short. Or I need to like lift the car up to get uh, better better leverage. Uh, the the chains just were really difficult to get through. So I hear that if I just get through this part right here, then uh, we'll be okay. So right now I'm at Dennis from Florida and his family, his wife and kids, and. Uh, Hey, we're good. We're good, man. It's really icy. Yeah, it's four cars coming, but you don't go until they come. Okay, how many? Four. Four. Okay. Okay. Can you let him know too? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. We waited about 20 minutes for those four vehicles to pass by, but we never saw them. So we continued to head down the trail. Now, I could not get those chains on, so I decided that. I would just drive down, but very slow and careful. Are we not going to wait for them? No, we are. We are. Just going to go nice and slow. Two miles an hour. I'm going to speed this up 12 times speed so that this is not incredibly boring for you. Here I'm driving 
two miles an hour. The goal was to stay away from the left wall. It seemed that it was more icy on the left side. You could see the difference in the amount of snow on the left mountain compared to the hills on the right. So trailing me is Dennis and his family in their rented GMC Yukon. They're from Florida, but uh, I guess the rental vehicle is from Colorado. They must be doing some kind of road trip. Now they use Google to navigate to their hotel and Google told them to go through the Saline Valley. Big navigational blunder on Google's part. All right, well, we found those four vehicles that we were supposed to wait for. You can't see it just yet, but there is a Jeep Gladiator pulling a trailer that is having a hard time getting up this icy uphill section. We caused these drivers a little bit more stress because now the trail is a bit tight. They would have to navigate around us. When the driver told us that four vehicles were coming up and not to head down until they passed, I didn't know that the trail was actually blocked. I think Dennis and I would have just turned around if we heard that the trail was blocked. So as you can see here with my finger pointing in certain directions, I'm figuring out where Dennis is trying to get to. The wife and I are going to the Saline Valley Hot Springs, and to my knowledge, there are no hotels there. So at this point, Dennis has realized that he needs to make a U-turn and head back the other way. I told him do not follow Google or Google Maps and to stick to the paved roads because they will lead him to his hotel. Before I assist Dennis making a U-turn on this tight road, I promised that I would give these guys my set of traction boards to help them lay down tracks, like railroad tracks, so that the Jeep Gladiator could drive up. So there are a total of three Max tracks. That is a name brand expensive traction board. And I gave them my $100 boards by Bunker Industries. The Jeep starts driving over the Max tracks boards. He's doing pretty good continues on and then he hits my bunker industry boards and loses traction and slides backwards a good 10 feet or so so there is your max tracks commercial they work and the boards i had did not work i am not sponsored by max tracks but hey i'm interested Reach out to me, I will gladly rock your boards. So there's a lot of lessons and things to digest from watching all this footage. Well, first of all, snow chains or cables would have really come in handy here. It's a good practice to actually make sure your chains fit before you need them. So after you buy a set of chains, try them on, make sure they fit. I knew about this, but I have experience with chains already. I know how to put them on. And according to the size chart, these should have fit. Stores typically have a no return policy on snow chains because most of the time people will buy them and then they return them if they don't end up needing them. So yeah, I guess that's probably one of the reasons why I never bothered trying them on. And let's go back to those wise words. All wheel drive and four wheel drive don't mean all will stop. Let those words stick. 
I'm not even sure who said that, but those are really wise words. So they're the last one, so. Now to drive down this steep, icy section. So what I'll be doing here is I'm avoiding the dark stuff, because that is the. Black ice. Yeah. So I'm gonna run over these rocks. It's a little, a little bumpy. They're not that big of rocks. It gives us traction. <laughs> but I don't want to get too close as well. Okay. Just gotta keep going slow, like really slow. One mile an hour. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, yeah. That was a rock that we hit. It's pretty deep on the right side, babe, so. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut across. Okay, so just go slow. Now I'm trying to get over on the left side. So we're avoiding the sh that shiny stuff, which is black ice. It's going two oh. miles an hour. Dude, hey, uh, so there is a Jeep that got stuck for about an hour. I right. uh, just want to warn you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, one thing about this road is it's so washboard. It's so incredibly washboard. In case you are planning to head over to the saline valley hot springs just know that it's a really long drive it's about three hours if you take the north or south road and it's very washboarded these kind of roads could definitely take the life out of your suspension a trail like the racetrack playa for example it's 27 miles and it's known to rip up bushings and make shocks explode especially in vehicles that have solid axles because there's just more unsprung weight and more stress on those springs so you would need some kind of high dollar bypass system maybe a triple bypass system to avoid letting your shocks explode or you just have to take breaks pull over and take breaks I'm pretty sure this trail has taken off 10 to 20,000 miles of expected range out of my shocks and struts. If you enter from the south, it's 52 miles to get to the lower warm springs. If you enter from the north, it's 38 miles. The reason why we didn't enter from the north is because there was a lot more snow up there because it's higher elevation. It took a while, but eventually we got to camp. The cool thing about this part is it doubles as a stove if you cook on top of it. Look 
looking good. Sure to fire a little bit to get a little warmer. It's getting colder and colder. And we are ready to eat mashed potatoes and ribs. So, can't show you the mature content. It's not family friendly. But the wife and I, we found a pretty cool, cool and secluded uh, hot tub. Earlier, I mentioned that these washboard roads will be really stressful on your vehicle's suspension. And it's common knowledge that these kind of roads will rattle bolts off. Unfortunately, I had an issue with my storage system connected to my rear hitch. So it took me about three and a half hours trying to fix this thing. Luckily, this guy named Don, a very kind gentleman, stopped by to check on me. And he gave me some ideas on how to solve my problem. So while I was working on my car, I was just feeling tired and worn down. I had a slight headache. It turns out the new Kuti variant is a lot more contagious, and apparently I contracted it. So Don, if you're watching this video, I hope I did not pass it on to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess I gotta back up a little bit, huh? Yeah. Wait a minute. I 
that enough space? I'm sorry? No. Telluride. Uh, it's a Kia Telluride, like a newer. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, what happened to it? Just can't wake up this hill. Oh. This is where we're getting stuck. This is where I kept crashing. On the right. Yeah, so just see on this side. We're good. See out of the trap. So that does it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you all a very happy New Year's. I got a rough start to the year 2022, but I'm really looking forward to the rest of the year. So until next time, have fun on your adventures. All right, here we go. I had to. I couldn't stop. That's one sure way of <laughs> I had a bail. Oh, jeez. I'll get it eventually. I couldn't stop. <laughs> I probably should try to steer. <laughs> Oh yeah, lifesaver. You spared me from having to hike a mile. <laughs> I, I really was trying to stop. I just, I just had a bail, I, I barrel rolled.